Welcome to Old Guys Gentlemen's Flex Fountain Pens, episode number 95. I'll be reviewing a new pen I got today. It's not a flex pen, but it does have a lot of line variation. What I got was a Pilot Vanishing Point uh, Red Gold. It's actually a 2009 limited edition called Vivid Red. Got it at nibs.com, and it was a broad nib, and then modified by the grinder there, uh, Monica, to an architect nib. When I had an architect nib before, I think it was ground by the Smith. It was a Twisby, uh, and I really liked it. I used it a lot for practicing some self-taught uh, Arabic and uh, Hebrew. And I'm not getting that far on it, but I'm having fun doing it. I couldn't find the pen, so I ended up get, getting this one. I wanted to have a pen that I could handle a lot and not worry too much about it. That's why the earlier one was a Twisby. And I have had these vanishing points before. In fact, I had a, a plain black one, and then I got these uh, beautiful uh, Rodin, Japanese Urushi Rodin pens. I still have to be careful with those. This one I can be a little bit careful with, although it's still fairly expensive. I think with, with the grinding, it was around 200 200 some bucks. And by the way, a little commercial break. Uh, I operate a shop on Etsy.com called Tiltwell. <laughs> and if you go there, you know, search for Tiltwell, it'll come up with all this stuff. And one of the things that'll come up with is a brand new product uh, that comes in both left hand and right hand. Maybe that's the other way around, but both hands. And right now they're in marble and in, um, in black. But I think it makes for a pretty cool looking uh, stand. So enough on the commercial. It is an 18 karat nib. It's uh, closed. It's about five and a half inches. In fact, everything is five and a half inches or half an inch on this pen. The, the barrel dammer is about a half an inch. And the, with the converter, it, it holds half a milliliter. <laughs> uh, if you use the whole cartridge, it's 0.8 milli milliliters. Uh, not a lot. Uh, I have run out f fairly often, but it's not that big of a hassle. I still still like these pens. Uh, let's show you a little bit about how it writes, and then I'll do some examples. Show you a little bit better how this thing looks. Uh, real nice gold trim. Uh, the red is kind of a subtle red, like it, you know. As a guy, I hate saying this, but it's kind of like a lipstick red, not very bright lipstick. <laughs> and it's the traditional, uh, there you see it, and there you don't kind of uh, nib. Uh, the way it's set up, I got this up on the converter. Yeah, so that's the nib. It's 18 karat, and you can kind of see the architect. So it's really kind of ground down on either side. So when you when you have well, I'll show you in the in the um, in the example. But that's the nib. The, um, the converter goes in here. Cartridge can go, also go in here, and then that all gets put together pretty easily. So you can go uh, high angle, regular, low angle. Um, not a big difference when you go low angle for everything. So really high angle and regular. And I'll, I'll redo these um, down here for you. And I draw in here. And you can kind of see it's like, um, it's kind of like fine to medium and goes a little bit um, broad. If you lean it down a little bit more, you can get quite a bit thicker lines. If you just come straight down, they're fairly thin. If you lift it up, you can get these pretty fine lines. And this is not an uncomfortable position to write in.
versus uh, down in a regular comfortable position. It'd be more like So now, if, if this were a flex pen, you'd be able to get all sorts of line variation differences between these two, and maybe even get a little bit um, broader on um, on the broadest, depending what kind of nib you have. But this is, I don't have to be careful with this like I do with some flex pens, and that makes this kind of a valuable um, pen to have. I think that kind of wraps it up. I, li I like this a lot for the purpose I got it in. Wish I had a little bit la larger uh, ink capacity. One of the things I, I did with one of the other ones is I put a cartridge in and put a little squeeze tube at the end so it actually filled more than just the 0.8 milliliters. I got m more like one milliliter. <laughs> so I hope you got some value out of that. And if you want to have a real thrill, get this pen at, at nibs.com or other places and then come over to the Tiltwell store on Etsy and get one of these really cool pen stands. That's about it. Hope you got some value out of that and thank you for watching.